Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Fortnite the new Season 7. Fortnite is kind of great if you look at the optimization. It's running well and you have a lot of different options depending on your computer. So if you have like an entry level, mid-range or high-end computer, you have a lot of different stuff like API that you want to use, etc. So I will show you how to optimize Windows and after that we will go inside of the game what stuff that you can change to optimize your FPS. So the first thing is the game mode, right? Game mode in your search bar. Open the game mode. Make sure that you're running the game mode. Uh, it, it will optimize, for first of all, your computer for game. For, so for an example, uh, when I play Fortnite, my uh, Ryzen processor will dedicate the best cores to the game. So really important because if you're dedicated the best core on your CPU, you will have more FPS. Also, it deactivate your Windows update for people who doesn't like that. Um, after that, Xbox Game Bar, make sure that it's at off. And also, don't use any overlays like the Discord overlay, AMD, NVIDIA, like the highlight NVIDIA over um, feature. Don't use that. It's causing like stuttering, stuff like that. Just remove it. After that, capture. Make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend is right GPU here, click on the graphic setting. You will have a new option called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Make sure this one is at on. You want to use it. You will need the latest version of Windows. And also you need to use uh, an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. I don't think it's available right now for uh, Radeon, so uh, AMD car. Uh, maybe just come in in the uh, comment section if you have like uh, if you can't uh, activate it. But my RX 580, I don't see it right now, so it's not compatible. Now you can click X. Another thing that is really important: make sure that you update your driver. So if you're using an AMD car or go on the AMD sorry website. Uh, Nvidia, same thing. But if you're using uh, the GPU on your uh, Intel processor, so the iGPU, go on their website and make sure that you have the latest version. Don't just use the version from Windows Update. It's just like a generic driver that you're going to make sure that you're seeing your image on your monitor. So really important, go on their website and download the uh, drivers. One more thing that I can recommend to you is the power setting. So go to Control Panel. Uh, on Radeon or NVIDIA card, go to Manage 3D Setting. And you will have an option called Power Management Mode. Go with Prefer Maximum Performance, really important. Don't use Eco Mode. You can do the same thing for uh, your uh, Energy Profile on Windows. So you just have to write Energy here and select Balance or Performance. Normally, when you're using a desktop computer, you will not have any issue with that. It's more for a laptop. I see a lot of people running like some Dell uh, laptop or even uh, Asus laptop, and they have like some kind of like um, pre-build like uh, profile software and stuff like that. And even when they plug into the wall, uh, they're using like a Nico mode profile. So like the processor is like running at 60% and uh, pretty much the same thing with the GPU. So make sure that you're running like performance or balance, something like that, to make sure that you're using the whole uh, resources of your computer when you're playing a game. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic parameter. So the first one is the window mode. I really recommend to use full screen. Don't use the window full screen or window. You will lose FPS and you will have some stuttering. For the resolution, I recommend to use your native resolution. So depending on your monitor, if you normally play 1080p, 2K, 4K, just go with your native one. For me, it's 1080p. For the FPS, I put unlimited. I want the more FPS possible. I want the lowest input lag possible, but if you're playing on a laptop or a computer without good ventilation, sometimes it can cause stuttering. I will show you an example. You have a laptop, you have a 60 Hz screen, so technically you should like run 60 FPS, but you just put unlimited and you're running 100. And because of that, you're generate, generating more heat in your computer and your computer, computer start to get very hot. 
and now you have some throttling because of that so the the cpu and G the gpu uh the blue boost clock going like a little bit lower because of your heat and now you're starting to stuttering a lot of people have that issue with a laptop or a desktop um without like proper ventilation or proper water cooling depending on your hardware so really important here if you uh, have a really good uh pc the way it's built with ventilation and stuff like that go with unlimited if you're it's not just lock it with your uh amount of hertz of your monitor after that 3D resolution. If you're not using the DLSS from NVIDIA GPU, go with 100. By default, it should be 100. After all my guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, you can definitely go at 95 or 90. But don't go lower than that. You will see that your image quality will go blurry and you will see pixel. So really important here. Last resort, touch it. But really for last resort. View distance. I recommend something between medium or far. Uh, if I... If I do a comparison, Epic too near, you can get like a nice 9 to 10% boost in your FPS. But view distance is really important when you're playing a battle royale. So go with something like medium. And if you have like a decent computer, you can definitely go with far. You will see like object, people uh, further in front of you. For shadow, this one can give you a lot of FPS. If you go Epic to off, you can get 12% boost in your FPS. Some people play at medium because they want to see shadow the, their enemy shadow if you don't care about that just go with off anti-aliasing right now i can't change it because i'm using the dls feature on my nvidia card but you have four preset epic i medium or off me i'm playing at off first of all you will get a nice eight percent boost in your fps and also anti-aliasing in this game make the game blurry so that's why i'm playing at off after that, texture. Texture, I'm going with Epic. If you have like 4 gig of VRAM and more, go Epic. 3 gig I, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig of VRAM, go with low. Effect and post processing, both I'm playing at low. Effect is really important, honestly. If you're getting some random drop when you're fighting and you're running medium or high, it's probably because of the effect, so go with low. Uh, and for the post-processing, I recommend low. First of all, you will have more FPS. And second of all, I feel like the game is less blurry. It's more clear. So that's why I'm going with low over here. After that, for the advanced graphic, I don't uh, use the V-Sync, v sorry. Uh, so I'm playing. I'm putting at off. Uh, better input lag for me, so it's it's lower. Uh, if you're playing G with the G-Sync and FreeSync, make sure that you're using that also. For motion blur, I recommend to just remove it. You don't want to use any motion blur on any competitive game. After that, show FPS. You can definitely put this one at on. As you can see here, I have my FPS. If you're not using uh, any software like MSI Afterburner. Uh, so each time that you will change a graphic parameter, you want to see if you're getting like more FPS or less. So that's a way that you can do it. Just show FPS at on. After that, the API, you have three different, different sorry, rendering mode in this game. You have DirectX 11, 12, and the new performance alpha. So, if you have a really, really old computer, six, seven year old, you can definitely go with DirectX 11, but you should definitely test the performance one, but normally DirectX 11 will be better. If you have like a new computer, definitely go with DirectX 12, it's the best one. After that, if you have something like old, like four years, five years old, and you're not too sure, normally it's the performance will be better in the new performance mode, but it's, it's honestly just do some tests. So if your computer is old, uh, test Derek X 11 versus uh, performance, choose the best one. And for sure, if you have like a brand new computer, like two years old and stuff like that, just go with Tyrek X 12. After that, Allo multi-thread rendering. This one, I recommend to put this one at on if you have more than six core on your cpu so for example you have the ryzen 5600 definitely put this one at on if you don't know how many core that you have on your cpu just google it uh you will see that the first website it will be intel or amd depending on your uh, cpu and they will tell you right away so if, for example if you have four core and eight thread put this one at off uh, use GPU crash debugging. Definitely this one, you can put this one at off. Latency marker at off. If you have the feature called NVIDIA Reflect Low Latency, definitely go with on plus boost. Less input lag when you're playing this game, so it's really important. Latency flash, put this one at off. 
and the DLSS. If you have this option, definitely use test tested it first. Me, I liked it. Some people don't like it because they feel it's a little bit too blurry. But definitely go with quality. Don't go with balance or performance. I don't like uh, the image quality. It's too uh, blurry. But quality, honestly, is really good in this game. And you will get 35 to 30% boost. So it's really amazing. So if you have this, the DLSS, you need an RTX card uh, from NVIDIA to have this one available. Two more thing, uh, matchmaking region. Make sure that you're playing with the best region that you can have. Don't use the other one. So you just need to the, to select the one with the lowest MS, so the best ping. For me, it's any East. So I'm using any East at 32 MS. So just select the best one and you're going to make sure that you will always use the proper one. And one thing that you can change if you have like a very old CPU, you're playing in, like, in an old like i3 or something like that. Sound quality can help you a lot. So you have two options. By default, it will be high. If you put sound quality at low, sometimes it can give you 4 to 6% boost in your FPS. It does that on my laptop. So it's really important to change it over there. So that's about it, guys, for my guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.